Welcome to 5 News Online. I'm Joe Ellison. Now we're all feeling that pinch at the pump, but according to AAA, good news, Arkansans may be paying less than almost everyone in the country. Now a report released by AAA just today shows Arkansas drivers are paying the second lowest prices. Now that's statewide in the country. The statewide gas price average right now in Arkansas, $3.20 for a gallon of regular unleaded while the national average price is, sits at 352. Now, according to the latest data from the Energy Information Administration, the main culprit here pushing up those prices is the high cost of crude oil. Recent spikes in demand for gasoline and other crude oil products, in addition to political tensions, continue to keep crude above $90 per barrel. All right, before we get to some other stories, let's check in with meteorologist Michelle Trotter. Michelle, seeing a significant temperature drop across our area today. Yeah, that's right, Joe. We started off this morning with temperatures in the 50s and 60s around 6 to 7 o'clock. We had a cold front push through and that dropped our temperatures down all the way to the 20s. So it is cold this afternoon. Temperatures will stay in the 20s throughout today. We'll have cloudy skies. Clouds will start to clear uh, through the overnight hours tonight, which will mean cool temperatures for our Friday. We're going to wake up in the 20s and teens. The River Valley as well, seeing cloudy skies for this afternoon with uh, temperatures in the 30s. There is a slight chance, just a very, very small chance of seeing some snow flurries across northwest Arkansas this afternoon, basically from 1 o'clock to about 4 to 3 o'clock. Uh, no, no accumulations expected because it's going to be on the light side, but uh, after that little bit of band of snow does push off to the northeast, we're just going to have cloudy skies, no precipitation, and then, like I said, temperatures will drop tonight into the teens. Next seven days, just look at the weekend. We're looking pretty great. Sunny skies, temperatures in the 60s, and we are watching already our next winter storm, which could move in midweek next week. But enjoy this weekend, Joe. We're going to have sunny skies and temperatures in the 60s. Ah, sounds fantastic. Thanks so much, Michelle. Well, police are reporting an Alzheimer's patient has been found safe after they sent out a silver alert for this man yesterday. And it's thanks in part to the little boy you see right here in this photo. Now, that's pre-K student Ezekiel. He reported to officers he saw the missing man walking through the woods during his recess at school yesterday. That tip led officers to search the woods and find 65-year-old Tony Job in the rain after he had been lost for several hours. And there's a new popular restaurant that opened today in Springdale. Nationwide franchise Chick-fil-A opened that new location on West Sunset Avenue this morning. Now take a look at the video. Let's see if it's pretty busy. It looks pretty busy to me. The business will bring in around 125 full and part-time employees. And in place of the traditional Chick-fil-A, a first 100 grand opening celebration, you know, when they would give people uh, free Chick-fil-A, well, this new location will actually be surprising 100 local heroes, making an impact in Springdale with free Chick-fil-A for a year. Well, those are some of your top headlines on this Thursday. I'm Joe Ellison. Join us again here tomorrow for more news and weather.